Hello there. Now that we know that uh, we can put azimuths on uh, our survey lines, we're going to start uh, generating coordinates uh, from these from these azimuths now and these distances. I used let me write the title first. This is going to be generating. coordinates. So I used the same traverse as we had uh, last time and it's, you know, it's a closed traverse, closed traverse, same azimuths and I created distances 200 feet, 170 feet, 78.36 and 218.98 Okay, so the first thing I want to do is make you guys remember that surveyors use northing and easting for their coordinates. And that's the same as a Y and then an X. Right, so it's not X and Y anymore. It's Y and X and we use northing and easting. And I'm going to pick coordinate for a starting point here and our my starting point is going to be point one and I'm going to pick that's going to be 1000 1000 and I'm picking such a high number is because I don't want to I don't want my coordinates to go negative see how we're going down 200 feet here my northing is going to change it's going to go down by about 200 so I don't want this to go negative. If I had if I set these as zero zero right if I set these as zero zero it's not you know it's gonna be a negative two hundred feet here for 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 point two. Right so that's why surveyors pick large numbers on their coordinates. Okay so let's start transferring point the coordinates to point one to point two. And how are we going to do that? Well, we're going to have a change in northing and then a change in easting. All right? So this here is our change in northing and this is our change in easting. Okay, so how can we solve for the two sides of this triangle giving, given that we know this length we know the length from 1 to 2 and what else do we know? We know this angle right in here, right? Because this direction right off, you know, right parallel to this line going out is south so our azimuth was supposed to, is 170 so south is 180 degree azimuth so this is this angle is 180 minus 170 10 degrees right a 10 degree 10 degree angle in that triangle so let's draw that triangle out here going from 1 to 2 and we know this is 10 this is 200 feet so now we can solve using trigonometry our change in northing and our change in easting right so using trigonometry what do we know about trigonometry the cosine function is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. The sine function 
is opposite over hypotenuse and the tangent is opposite over adjacent. So to solve for our change in northing, our change in northing, what trigonometric function do we need to use? Well, northing is adjacent to this at 10 degrees. Adjacent, right? So adjacent, remember adjacent is here. A is adjacent. So we're going to use the cosine. Adjacent over hypotenuse. 200 feet is our hypotenuse, and we know that. So we're going to say that the cosine of 10 degrees is equal to the change in northing over 200 feet. So multiply by 200, multiply by 200, we have the change in northing, oops, change in northing is equal to, I'm going to get my calculator out here, 200 times 10 cosine equal to 196.96 feet. And the change in easting, right? Change in easting is opposite. So it's going to be sine, right? Sine opposite over hypotenuse. So 10 degrees equal to change in easting over 200. So the change in easting is equal to 200 times 10 sine equal to 34.73 feet. Okay. So if you don't know your trig functions, visit SalCon at at Con Con Academy dot org. He has a whole bunch of videos on trigonometry, <clears throat> and you'll be a master of trig before you know it. Okay. So now we can apply, we know the coordinates to point one, now we can apply them, these change in northings and change in eastings, to get to point two. Okay, so to get to point two from one with the change in northing, we're going negative, right? We're going down. So our correct, our change in northing is going to be subtracted from the coordinate, from the northing coordinates, point one. So 2 northing is equal to 1,000, the northing to point 1, minus 196.96, which is equal to 1,000 minus 196.96, 103, I mean 803.04. And two's easting is equal to one thousand minus thirty four point seven three. Oh, sorry. Plus, we're going in the positive direction now, right? Easting is positive, so it's plus. So that's going to be one thousand thirty four point. Seven three. All right, so these are the coordinates to point two, and I'm almost out of time, so I'll continue this in the next video. See you soon.